hello and welcome to postman tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to um, understand the variables in postman and what all variables are available in postman so as you can see on my screen postman supports um, the following variables that we have on the screen so global variables collection environment local and data variable now global variable as the name suggests so before we go get into the details of the postman variables let's briefly understand what exactly are the variables so in postman variables are sort of similar as they are in any other programming languages so for example you are having certain you know like values that you want to define uh, as variable and then use it in different methods so that you don't have to hard code those values or define those values in each and every class or method and similarly in postman when you're doing automated testing or doing the api testing what you need to do is you need to define the variables uh, at global level at local level or collection environment level so that it gives you a flexibility to uh, use those variables in different test cases uh, in different collections and you don't have to worry about changing those variables or the values of those variables in each and every test case in future the advantage of this is say for example you have 50 test cases and each of those 50 test cases you have hard-coded certain values say for example it requires username and password and you haven't defined it as a variable uh, you know like collection variable or global variable and used it as a variable in the scripts then you have to go to those 50 scripts and update the values in case something changes in all those 50 scripts the advantage of variable is you define it once and then use the variable in 50 scripts if something changes then you just change the value in the variable and all your 50 test cases will be passing so this is just a just a simple example what why we need a variable and how it can be really really helpful now postman supports five different variables so global variables as the name um, suggests that it's uh, at the global level so it will allow you to access data between you know like collection request test scripts and environment so it's at the global level defined in the postman collections uh, variable so collect it is uh, the scope is at the collection level so any request or any folder subfolder in the collections will be able to access the collection variable and they are independent of environment so if you are uh, triggering the test cases within the collection in, on the development environment uh, the collection variable you don't need to change it based on the development or test environment so collection variable will be independent of the environment then environment variable is basically a, a variable which allows you to define different environments say for example in your development team or development uh, whatever development you are doing say you are developing an application or website you have different test environments so there could be a test environment for system testing or system integration testing and then there'll be a test environment for user acceptance testing before it actually goes to production so then there will be a test and uh, there will be an environment for the production as well now environment variable what it does is it define you can define these variables and define the endpoint of the vari of the environment and in different variables and depending on which environment you are testing then you can point your request to that particular environment and you don't have to update these endpoints in each and every um, test case or request so that's the whole point of or advantage of having environment variable now we'll cover local variables and data variables later local variable is um, accessible in your request scripts and they are temporary so uh, the scope of local variable is single request or uh, collection run so we'll uh, cover local variables and data variables later and we'll cover the top three because it three, these three we can define through the postman ui and we'll understand how you can define these and then use these in your scripts as well now if you see about the preference so if there is a global preference as well as the local variable defined in the script then the highest preference will be the local variable 
so if same variable has the value it, it's defined at the local level as well and the global level it will pick the value from the local variable and not the global variable so that's another thing very important to understand about the variables now let's get back to postman and see how we can define global variables collection variables and environment variable in postman so i'll open postman here so here in the right hand side you will see the quick look if you click on this it will display the environment variable section and the global variable section where you can define the global variable and the environment variable so if i edit the global variable section then here i can define the variable name so i'll say global variable demo and i'll provide the value here so i'll say some sample value here dummy value in the initial value we'll cover initial and current value later because this is another important con concept in postman which is sessions which we'll cover in a separate um, tutorial so you just provide the initial value as of now and then save and that's how you add a global variable in postman now if you want to add the environment from this same screen you can add the environment as well and i'll say test test environment and provide the name test environment and we'll provide the value in it so the environment value will provide let me copy the environment value i'll just click add as of now and close the screen so here you see this is the endpoint that we are triggering that we are hitting so app.asana.com so depending on different environments available in your project you these urls might be changed so for example you have five different test environments each test environment will have different endpoint and in that case it's good idea to define five different environment variables and put these endpoints into the variable so we'll go to the environment and sorry we need to select the environment that we have defined so test environment and see the details here and we'll provide the value we'll click on edit and we'll provide the initial value there and update so now we have defined the environment test environment and within the test environment we have defined the variable test environment and the value there so that's how you define the environment variable and global variable now coming back to the collection variable you to define collection variable you go to the collection so for example i am at asana test demo collection you click on the ellipse click on edit and here in the edit collection you'll see the variable section and here i have already de defined one variable collection var demo and i have uh, defined the um, dummy value there so if you want to add any new variable here just keep adding collection demo to uh, and provide the value so you can define the any number of uh, variables in collections environment or global so even in global if i want to add another global value variable i'll say global var to provide the value okay so these variables are being added similarly in the test environment i can provide another test environment i'll say uat test environment and provide the endpoint for the uat test environment and update now there will be two variables in the uh, test environment section as well so that's all about the defining the variables in postman the environment variable global variable and the collection variable now if you want to access these variables how you are going to access these so for example here we have defined the test environment variable so i don't want to add or hard code this url that i have highlighted in each of my request so what i can do is to access the global uh, to access the environment variable i'll just simply say 
um, curly braces twice and then you just say test env and that's it right so if you'll see now here that the test environment has been picked up and the scope is environment so curly braces the name of the the environment and the uh, closing braces okay so then what it will do is it will directly pick the value there if i want to change it to say for example uat i can simply change it to uat test environment and it will pick the value from the uat test environment and i don't have to keep changing it in each of my in all of my requests so if you send this now it will return the same results as it used to previously because it is picking the the value uh, app.asana.com from the environment variable that we have defined right so you can pick either test environment or uat test environment now similarly if you want to access the global variable the command is same or the syntax is same will create will pick another uh, request say for example update a project okay so here we used to pass the project gid okay so let's define this project gid into the global variable or maybe at the collection variable level okay and we'll say project gid and we'll provide the value of the project gid update it and now instead of hard coding or manually copying this we can simply say curly braces and then we can say project is just start typing project GID and you'll see that small C appears and you can select that directly and now it will pick the value you can see initial and current values are the project GID values that we have defined at the collection level now for example we have also defined the variable at project GID variable at the global level let's see what happens so I'll save it and we'll update the values so I'll edit the value for project GID at the collection level I'll just make it some dummy value and update it and there is a project GID the correct project GID is at the global level but at the collection level I have edited it and I have made it some garbage value right let me copy the same value into the current value as well and now if I run it what will be the response let's see so it says project not a recognized ID now this is because it is picking this GID the garbage GID from the collection level that I have edited here it is not picking up from the global level and the reason for that is the preference so if you open the presentation here you will see that global variable has the lowest preference and local variable has the highest preference so if you have defined a variable same variable at the global level and the collection level then the preference will be given to the collection level and not the global level so let's go back and edit the collection variable and I'll uncheck this so that it is not activated anymore and then run the request again now you will see that the project GID has been picked up from the global level even though this request has failed because there is no project with this GID existing but it is still picked up the variable that we have defined at the global level right so this is the same number that has been picked up because what I have done is I have disabled the variable at the collection level so that we have uh, also understood the preference that will be given to these variables and how you are going to access these variables at the 
request level now if you want to access the variable from the body syntax still remains same and we'll see how you can access these from the body so let's see the post request and say for example we want to we don't want to hard code workspace and team GID into the JSON request now we'll define it as the variable at the collection or global level and then we'll access these right so let's define quickly and let me just say collection variable I'll just update the values here and we'll say collection where workspace GID and collection demo workspace team GID update and I'll copy and paste the team GID at the collection level as well so I've updated the values here and now in order to access these variables the syntax is still same two curly braces and we'll remove this value there and we'll start typing the name of the variables that we have defined so let's see the name is collection where so we'll say collection where workspace GID right so as far as the name is correct that should be fine and then similarly the other name and paste the value there okay so now if I run this request it should be fine and picking up these values from the collection now we'll see the response to the pretty format and now you can see that it has created a new project with the GID and that these values have been picked up from the collection variables that we have defined at the collection level these two variables so to summarize we have covered global variables collection variables and environment variables how to set them and how to access them in the resource or in the JSON body and then we have also understood how these variables uh, can be accessed and the preference of the variables now in the next tutorial we will understand more about the local variable and then we'll proceed further with the automation of end-to-end -end test case so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe thank you for watching